clipping a bird's wings is a big decision. Some people think that it shouldn't be done at all and that with some training and good management, there's no reason to clip the wings. Some people believe that if the bird is a companion inside the home with dangers like hot plates, open doors, ceiling fans, it's safer for them to have their wings clipped. The choice of whether to clip or not is yours. We just wanna make sure that if you are going to do it, that you do it correctly. There is a right and a wrong way. Incorrectly clipping a bird's wings creates more dramas than the decision to clip or not. If you clip too much and they can't glide around, they often hurt themselves upon landing or crashing into things. We can get broken keel bones, pectoral muscle damage, and even wing or leg damage. If you decide to do it, you need to do it right. So if you make the decision to clip, here's what you need to do. You'll need a pair of sharp scissors. If possible, a pair without a pointed tip. Second, and very importantly, we need to understand the anatomy of a bird's wing so that you know what you're doing. This is your average bird's wing. Here's the allula. It's kind of like the bird's thumb. These smaller feathers are the coverts, primary to secondary leading back towards the body. These big ones at the front are called the primary feathers. And this is where the bird gets a lot of lift. About here, start the secondary feathers. And once you get close to the body, these are the scapulars. It's the primary and some of those secondaries that we'll trim, using the coverts as a guide. Remember, the goal here is simply to restrict the amount of lift that your bird is able to get when they flap their wings. We still want our birds to be able to spread their wings and glide safely to the ground if they have climbed up high. If we don't take enough, then he's still pretty much fully flighted. A common question asked is, can we just trim one side? The answer is no, definitely not. Clipping only one wing can make the bird unbalanced and they can flip themselves or flutter upside down and they can land on their back when they jump off their cage or even the kitchen bench. And this can result in injury. So what we're going to do is leave the first few primary feathers. It looks better and it will protect any feathers that might grow back after a molt. We will trim from about here to here, taking most of the primaries. Sometimes we may have to cut a few of the secondary flight feathers. It just depends on the type of bird. We don't want to cut too many feathers close to the body as the sharp feather edges can irritate the bird and it's just not necessary. We will use the coverts as a guide and just trim to that level. All we really need is some patience, some tenderness and our sharp scissors. We really want to hold the bird gently and remember, we don't want to cut those first few primaries. So let's start here and we'll cut back to here. Now let's get the other side. We wanna make sure that we're in a controlled environment when we do this. It's better to cut too little at first than too much. We can always trim a few feathers if he can still get lift. Remember, he needs to glide gently to the ground and to be able to control his landing. There we go, a good landing. It's a simple process if you know what you're doing. So we just had to take away the primary flight feathers, leaving the first few for protection and just trimmed up to the secondary coverts. All we did was make a gap in his feathers and that's pretty much it. Remember that all birds are different. So it does require a little bit of trial and error on how many you trim in total. After a test flight, you can see if your bird is ready to go. Just keep an eye on him as he grows new feathers and see when he gets his lift back. We won't trim again until those feathers have grown back. Growing feathers have a blood vessel in them. If we trim too early or they are broken, they can bleed. That's why we left those first few primaries to give those new feathers protection while they grow back. This little guy should be right for a while. Thanks for watching and remember, the Vetter Farm team are only a phone call away. <laughs>